Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a craft with me. Yay! I'm going to work on this, uh, start to finish these old journals. Uh, but I have stuff to talk about before that, which first of all is hi and hugs to Jenny, Emily, Kathy from Southern Australia, and my peg. So, Hi and hugs to all of you. You are so precious and love you all. So, first of all, I wanted to show you these finished journals. We did a little craft with me where I made these journals for my upcoming retreat. And a couple people asked to see the finished product. So, here they are. And they just have a little random smattering of um, papers. They Each one has a sack. Because I thought there might be things at the retreat that somebody wanted to, you know, tuck in the sack or something. And so, there they are. That's all that there is to it. And then I did put, I did sew the little leftover from the front on the back cover. So they, I think they turned out really cute. There's that one. Really, same sorts of papers on the inside. This one has some kind of fun dyed um, notebook paper, but but yeah, I just zigzagged that down the back. So I think they turned out great. So I hope the ladies like them. So that was the first thing. Oh my gosh, I've had such a busy day. I picked all the winners of my giveaway. So that's going along and I just uploaded a bunch of new Etsy things in my shop. Now you'll see this. I'm 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 taking a moment. I'm taking a moment to craft. And you'll see this um tomorrow morning. I have a feeling tomorrow may be a day of doing lots of packaging and sending out orders, hopefully. So anyway, I wanted to take this moment to breathe and to just do a little crafting on these on these books. Let me show you where kind of we left off and what I've done since. Um, we picked the papers for, I don't know, one of these. And I've gone ahead and picked papers for the rest of them and just got the signature put together so that um, we could kind of go from there. You know, you helped me pick out one bit of paper. Oh, I should tell you, I did some more of these. Um, I didn't put this stuff on them because I have another project that I want to save this for. There's not that much in there. We'll be we'll be doing that here one of these first days because I really want to give it a try. So I didn't put that on. I just rubbed the my old distress ink pad a vintage photo on there and sprayed water and it just has this nice crunchy effect to it and um I need to do some more I think I just need to sit here and do do a pile of paper because I really I really like how those came out so anyway just picked papers for each one we had we had already chosen which leftover digis to use and I just picked coffee dyed paper to go into each one. Oh, here's this. You wanted to see how this turned out. So we did this last time with the distress ink and the glass effects stuff, and it's awesome. I think it turned out really great. I did have to iron them because they kind of curled up, but um, that was okay. And you can write on it. I did. I did try that. So so that was good. So anyway, there's the papers in that one. Um, and they are the same kit as I think this one. Yeah, this one, Vintage Journal from Artie Mays. So this one, again, I just picked a bunch of papers. So those two have a, a similar look to them, I would say. I put the other one of those in there. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's... That's those two. And then this one is the Precious Moments one. And these are printed on thicker papers. So this one's going to be a 
fat one just because <laughs> just because the papers are thicker but um yeah i just this one is the one that i used the the paper that had the ink and the glass effects gel on it love it how it turned out and i just have old papers in this one kind of keeping with the the old photograph theme of this one so that's that one let's see and then this one has the poppies and um poppies and fun fun flowers fun flowers they're sunflowers actually but they are kind of fun flowers <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, it's been such a day. I just I just can't talk even. So this one turned out fun too. And yeah, so I kind of got my papers put away after doing that. But I wanted to add maybe some doilies, maybe some things. I found these from a Happy Mail. I think I'm going to use these two in... Um, these with the rose paper the vintage journal ones and I think I'm just going to fold them in half and put them put them in there somewhere so let's do that and then maybe the other ones will just do doilies and then I also brought over some sacks I had once again this is all stuff that I just have in my craft room and I'm just trying to kind of kind of get that um, pared down. So we'll see where these go nicely. It's kind of nice on that paper, isn't it? Yep, that's what I'm going to do. That was an easy decision. Oh, I just think that looks so pretty. So, yeah. All right, so there's that one and this one. Where is that crinkly paper? We'll just put this one there too. And try and fold it so the roses really show. Let's do it like this. Okay. So, boy, I've been checking things off my list this week. I'm so happy. Okay. We're going to do coffee dyed doilies in these which I have a couple right here that, actually here's two. Ooh, this one's I'm going to stick this one in my collage stuff because he's kind of ripping okay and meanwhile I have oh, I have this uh, file folder that has the coffee filters some other kind of <laughs> randomness and coffee dyed doilies in it so let's just put those in there okay we can put this up on the desk now so we got something filed properly you know how happy that always makes me okay let's cut let's find a spot for these doilies here and these were ones that I think they were on an Etsy order probably and I just took them off and dyed them they have a little something right there so I think we'll probably Mod Podge on some napkin or something onto those perhaps but let's find a spot do we want to just put them on that again I think so. They just show up so nicely. Okay. Well, once again, super easy. Okay. Um, and then I got to decide on sack. I would like to put a sack in each one. I kind of like how that looks. Okay. <laughs> Quit feeling the paper and get on with it, Gail. Okay. There's that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Okay. So then I have these sacks that either orders came in or happy mails or whatever. These are too little. That's too plain. That's too little. 
and look at these aren't those cool or <laughs> those this isn't that cool great big one okay i was actually thinking of more this size what do i have okay well i have four right here so that's perfect we'll put these back where they belong for now on my table okay i think i want this one in the precious moments one so let's see maybe do i just want them in half i think i just want them in half yep we'll just do that however before i have it in there i am going to snip off the end because i like them both to be able to have stuff put in them so we'll do that Oh, I had a moment. I Sorry, I had to look at my camera. I had a moment of thinking, did I press record? <laughs> I've been blabbing and blabbing and doing and doing and oh my gosh, did I press record? Okay, let's see where these sacks might go. I might put it, I might put it right there. Yep. Just kind of framed nicely okay let's see this one is the poppies these are all those two are similar so let's just use this one let's cut it first i guess and then we're gonna dive into the ephemera box i think i'm going to do a little decorating of the pages put in some pockets that sort of thing before sewing them in um i'm just i'm just feeling that don't want to cover up that that's pretty that'll be fine right there okay and then these two we'll put in the um what is this vintage journal or something i'm not sure and once again my sweet husband did all sorts of errands today got groceries did errands while I was busy with um, doing the winter giveaway and getting the stuff listed or not listed but getting the stuff um, getting the video and um, publishing the listings for my Etsy so good he just takes up the slack so I can do all this stuff. I so appreciate him. Okay, here we go. That's the spot for that one. And then this one. Yes, vintage journal. And you guys, um, a couple people have asked about the about the covers and that they're so stiff. They will they will loosen up as you use them and they've even loosened up since i've been working on the um the uh signatures and stuff um but they're they're tough there's no doubt about it it's it's a great way to use the paper i i feel like i just want to do that again i'm kind of feeling the itch but one of these days one of these days when we're done doing other things now that's probably a good spot right there I don't want to cover. Yep, I think that's where it's going to be right there. I kind of like that against the dictionary page too. Okay, so we did that. Aren't we good? Now, the one thing I have at the ready are these little um, vintage envelope pockets that I made yesterday. And I did film those because I, I uh, have the digital in my, in my shop and wanted to play with it so let's figure out where we want those which 
which uh, journal for sure. This one, I'm kind of leaning towards this and this. I'm even wondering about putting it right on the front. Kind of like how it goes with the cover. Let me look through the camera. Yeah, then I could have put maybe a, this book belongs to um, tag or something in that. I just noticed I have a little piece of fabric that needs to be cut off right here. Sorry guys if I'm out of camera, but I just noticed that and I need that to go away. There we go. Easy, easy fix there. Easy fix. Okay. I think I like that there. Let's let's kind of play with where they go and then decide if we want to glue them in permanently. Just kind of I think I want this on the other side. Let's look at the other side. I think it's about the same. Just because I want this, um, oh, I need to glue that down a little better. I want this edge to be on the edge of the page so it really shows, but I kind I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Let's glue that in. Let's just not dilly-dally. Let's just get to gluing and stuff. And we are going to get out the big old ephemera basket and we are going to decide on other things for these journals because um, it's going to go fairly fast because I am only using things that are already made. We're not going to make anything for these journals because I just want to. Oh, and this one I didn't do on camera, but I thought it turned out really cute with putting the leaves down here and having leaves on that. I really like how that one turned out. Um, that was what I did after the video was done because I knew I wanted to do four because I wanted to put them in this, in this batch of journals. Okay. Put the lid on that just because I don't know how long I'll be till the next one. Oh my goodness, sometimes I just have a hard time. It's like threading a needle. <laughs> sometimes I just can't find where to stick it in. Okay. Okay, so we have that right here. Stack it in there and then we'll look at it. Yeah, that's cute there. I like how the green plays off the green leaves of the of the digital kit. Yep. Okay. So there's that one done. Let's just go ahead and well, I'm not sure about that one yet. <laughs> okay, this one with the poppies. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this this um, pocket, but not positive. I like that, but I feel like there's a lot going down on at the bottom. Although I could clip something at the top there. I do like that right there. Let's just thumb through a little bit, see if there's anywhere else that speaks to us. That might be nice. I think I like that better. Let's do that. Try not to put anything, I'm going to try not to put anything on things that are lined that can be journaled on. Well, I still have quite a few videos on my list of to-dos. I guess that notebook's over by the computer right now, but um, I got 
I've checked off three or four, but I had like eight things on my list. So, so we'll be, we've, we've got, we've got many more to go is what I'm saying as far as the videos go. Yeah, this one's going to be good in the precious one. Look at how well those colors from the trim go. Yep, I think so. I, now it's just a matter of deciding exactly where. That's nice. Okay, I'll think about that. I want to put pockets on those because they, you know, really can't be journaling space, I don't think. It's kind of nice on that short piece. Hmm. What about that can really be journaled on? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not coming up with anything I like better than this. I like how the kind of yellow ties in here. I like how this ties in with the rose. Let's just do... Oh! Oh, I almost glued that. This is a floater. I forgot about that. So it can just be clipped there. Yes. Oh, let me grab for a second... I am going to use gold paper clips and things, I think. And you guys, <laughs> this is my little, my little way of organizing paper clips. I use old icebreakers, little um, plastic things. And, and then I can write on here, this one says gold. Yeah. So I don't know that maybe that'll work for you too. Let's just pop that in there then. Right, right. And I was thinking I wanted to maybe put put a little something in there too. So I can't forget about that. Okay. Okay, so we got our vintage envelopes pockets in. Now, now, now it gets ugly. <laughs> I'm going to leave those there because I like them. Okay, so here's... My basket of ephemera that I wanted to use out of. So my thought is to like pick a pocket for each one, pick tags for each one. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how this is all going to pan out, but let's just, let's just get started and see what we can do. Okay. So these little pockets, I just made these out of um, scraps from doing what was I doing I must have been doing oh traveler's notebooks I think and I had these little squares left and so I just rounded the corners and punched out and just made them pockets so I think some of these will work for um each one can you see if I'm over here there's kind of a shot it wasn't there but um I was looking at Looking at this one, maybe for the precious moments one. Mm, I wonder about, wondering about this one for the poppies and sunflowers. And then the other two are kind of the vintage journal ones. I like this one for one. It kind of looks like old wallpaper. It's got the feathers on the back, but I think I'll do the old wallpaper. And I think this one will work. These Tim Holtz ones will work. Okay. So we did that for those pockets. Okay. So maybe what I'll do is pop them in the front of each of these journals because I know which ones okay so this is the poppy this is the poppy one I'll put that in there 
This is the vintage journal. I wanted that one for that. This one is the precious moments. And I was thinking of that one. That one goes. And then this one is also the vintage journal one. Oh, we haven't put that on yet. Oh, well, I'm going to wait just to, just to make sure that's what I want on the front. Okay. So then I was also thinking, what about one of the Crafty Irina pockets that I have, I have already made, um, kind of like the bigger ones, but this one's made out of one of my eco dyed prints. I'm wondering about that for the poppies one. That might work. Actually, I have quite a few made up from um, pages of A Better Homes and Gardens, the five ring binder. I have several of those made up. So let's let's do those. Let's pick out four of those. Here's one. Here's one with reds. Let's do that in the poppy. Okay, I'm just popping them in the front right now. Just grabbing a few things. Um, this one would be good for the precious moment, or yeah, precious moments ones. It looks kind of vintagey and stuff. Uh, then the other two, I think. The other two, I think I'll just do these. They're, they're fairly plain, but I like them both. And I think they're good colors to go what little color there is. So, okay. So now we have that pocket also. What else do we have in here? So much stuff. Oh, I have four Tiffany stamp pockets. Actually, I have five, but... I'm kind of wondering. The blue is going to be a little harder to work with. Let's do this one in the poppy. I'm going to do these kind of lighter peachy ones for the vintage journal. Then one of these... I'll do this one in here. Okay, so this, it's so weird, but it gives me anxiety. It's like now I have one Tiffany and Company pocket in my ephemera thing. And it's like, oh, I need to make more. I need to make more. Well, I don't really, but I could make it at the time. But I just like having stuff made ahead. I don't know. I'm just kind of weird like that, I guess. Okay, so I've got a couple of fabric pockets here. And then I'm looking back here and I've got a couple of these fabric pockets. Will those fit into these? Let's see. It's gonna be an eclectic little journals. Oh yeah, I might have to, yep, I think those are going to fit just fine. Okay, so let's figure out which, um, maybe I can set this sideways, give myself a little more room and you can see better, hopefully. Yeah, that's better. Um, like which ones to put where is what I'm looking at. Kind of like this yellow with that. Okay, I'm going to do that with that one. This is the poppies. Doesn't have to be super matchy-matchy either, you know. 
like that looks just fine right there. That looks kind of fun. In fact, okay, that's going to go in that one. We have over here. Um, that looks pretty there. Except I think I'd go this way. Oh, fuzzy. No extra charge for the fuzzies. <laughs> okay. Let's see. How about, and then, you know, like this one could go here or here. Kind of like it across from the Edith Holden. Yep. All right. So we'll put those in. What else? What else do we have? Okay. I made a bunch of collage things. I'm not sure why those are in the pockets, but should probably be in the tags, but whatever. Okay. Um, I think there's four of these. Got these in Happy Mail. Nope, I have two left. Okay, that's right. Save those for something else. Um. Oh, I have a couple of these, but I only have a couple. I'm looking for things that I have four of, you know? I have four altered playing cards, and that's all I have left. Maybe we'll put those on as tuck spots, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do those. Not sure which one's going in where yet. I have a lot of these that I did with the little vintage ladies on them. So we'll maybe tuck those in, but those are more, you know, after we get pockets and stuff on. Notebooks, tags. This is a fun one. That's an autumn one though, so, hmm. <laughs> envelopes. Then I'm to into envelopes. <laughs> I have three of everything. Shoot. <laughs> um. Yeah, pretty much I have three of everything. And I said I wasn't going to make anything, didn't I? Three of those. I have three of, well, the vintage envelopes, I've already done the digitals, so let's not do those. But maybe I could do this one, which is, there's just one of, and then do these three. These are Tsunami Rose postcards um, and on an envelope. My question is, though, do I have one of these in my idea book? I need to check that because I don't want to lose track of this idea. I love this idea. Okay, I might keep that one out for that. Let's see if we find another envelope that there's just one of that we think would be good in this in these journals. Um Okay, back to the envelopes. There's this. No, that's not an envelope. Is that an envelope? Yes, this is. But, again, I need to make sure that I've got that in my idea book. Okay, we're doing sorting too, peeps. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, um... Did. I got these from Eve. Just don't know if I want them in this particular. 
Okay, well, oh, here's one. Here, and there's only one. Oh, yeah, this will be good. This will be good. I made this for, this is um, Tracy Fox, probably a Tracy label, and some of my Digi trims. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay, so we've got four envelopes. Um, then the stuff to stick in pockets and stuff we'll have to revisit a little later, I think, right? Um, I know though that I have four of these. This is, I think I must have got these in Happy Mail. But I have four of these, and they're bunnies, so that's fun. So I'm going to put those tags or journaling cards just in my little um, turquoise bucket that I keep that sort of thing in. Then I've got these fun kind of vintage. Got a chair, typewriter, ink thing. I have this little lady. She's not quite vintage enough, I feel. That one would be cute in the one. Okay, let's use some of those. So I'll put that in there as well. And then I do have the um, ephemera from some of these kits too. Okay, and then do I have... Oh, and then I was thinking of using one of each of these, right? Let's do this lady... Uh, she's kind of my favorite. Do I have four of her? Got a lot of that lady. A few of the flapper gal. Flapper again. Oh, there's one. There's one more of her. So we use those four. That's rent. I, I I got that in Happy Mail, I think. Okay. Cool. Well, we'll see. I don't know. Might have to make some stuff for these. I don't know. I'm I'm I think I'm doing pretty good though. Of you know, kind of pulling out some things. Oh, here's here's some more tags that I have a little batch of. Some vintage ladies, some florals. So there's four florals. So let's use those. Um, except for in the precious moments one, let's use a vintage lady. Let's use that lady. And I have two of these, so we'll keep one. Okay. Okay. Those in the ephemera bucket. And what else do I have here? Yep, nothing that there's a whole bunch of. Okay, okay, well, I feel like we made some progress there. Let's start, oh yeah, we're only at 38 minutes. Let's start putting some pockets in. Um... These are, we need to figure out which, which of the altar playing cards goes with which journal. I think that one's going to go with that journal. Um, and I think we'll go there and there. So this one goes in this one. Okay, let's see what we can do. So we have three pockets and a tuck spot to put in each one let's just decide where they're oh and then the fabric pocket too which we know is going there so let's get that put in there um oh ha we did it right on the other side okay well that works let's just make sure that we're gonna fit okay i think i'm gonna just nip off the absolute end of that then I think we should be fine all right so now we're into gluing oh my husband is 
so busy today. He's gotten all his errands run. And this was exciting, you guys. Today was the day that we could start making a few of the reservations for our trip in July, which is to Disney World and the Disney Cruise. We're taking my son's family. I think I've told this story before, but I can I just I can't get enough of it all. <laughs> and that is um we've taken all of our our four children, we've taken their families to um to Disney World. Yeah, that's just going to be a little funky. Um Disney World and the Disney Cruise and we took, we started with my oldest, with my son and his family, and his little girl was like 22 months old. I, I showed you the, I showed you the journals I made them for Christmas. That's, that's when I told you the story. But anyhow, um, so, so we, um, took them when my oldest granddaughter was like 22 months old. Well, her little sister has then never been. And so we are we are kind of starting <laughs> round two and we are gonna take them to Disney World and on the Disney cruise. And the girls at that time they will be, let's see how old will they be? They will be 14 and 12, 12 and 14, I think. And so it'll be such a different experience than we've had because all the other kids we took when they were young. So anyway, my husband was so cute. He's like just hippy hopping around. He's so excited that he made all the reservations and stuff for us to, um, for when we get off the boat for transportation to the airport and, um, <laughs> and, uh, that kind of stuff. And he's like, we don't even have to mess with our luggage. They're going to just take it. I'm telling you, if you haven't done something like that with Disney, they really, their customer service, they are phenomenal. I think I'm going to put that on as a tuck spot. Never mind, that's a poinsettia, but. It's red like a poppy, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, their customer service is, is just amazing. It's like they want it to be as hassle-free for you as absolutely possible because they just want you to be playing and having fun and no doubt spending money. <laughs> but, you know, here's the thing that we decided is, you know... We, we don't have a lot, but what we do have, we just as soon enjoy doing things with our kids and our grandkids than to leave them, a, you know, to leave them a inheritance that, you know, we don't get to see them enjoy that. <laughs> so we're just kind of doing some things. We're not getting crazy, but ooh, that's kind of nice there, isn't it? I think I'll do that. Um, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like kind of that's the choice. You either leave them a little something when you die or you just spend it making memories. And so that's kind of what we're doing. I don't know. Someday if we run out of money, we might be sorry. But, <laughs> but we're trying to be prudent, but yet just enjoy too. It's nice right there. I think I do, though, want to give that a little vintage photo around the edges. You know how you know how I am. And then, um, and then I'm gonna have to assess. Oh, you know what else we could put in here is I do have some of the book page pockets made up too. Maybe once we put this in, we'll take a look at that and see just gonna put this one on this gives me an excuse see I'm using up ephemera this gives me an excuse to 
get busy and do some more, huh? We might have to do a video on altered playing cards. I had a lot of fun making these. I did them one time when my friend was over. We were making them. Okay. Okay, so we got all this all the stuff in that one. Let's I'm gonna just grab those book page pockets real quick. Oh, and then these and these and these. Okay, I forgot I kinda have a second box of the camera. <laughs> So these are um, scrappy uh, embellishments. We could put those on a page or something. And then I've got clusters, some of those made. And then I've got the book page pockets. So I'm kind of thinking about all these at the back here. I do enjoy making these and so I wonder better. Okay, I'm going to use this one in I'll show you. In this journal, you know, I had the Boy Scouts there, but I wasn't totally pleased. I think I might put that there cuz this kind of goes with that. So, okay, so we've got one for there. Um Just random different ones. I just guess I need to just decide because none of the rest of them are embellished, I don't think. I love this music one for maybe the um, Precious Moments one. Okay. And then I just need... Got a couple of those made. Let's just do those two in these two journals. Okay. Okay, so we did one of these in each one. Oh, that's getting low. <laughs> Making me worried. It's so low. Okay, what else? Where, where else? Not what else, where else? So I kind of have things balanced, I think. You know, as many pockets in one and as the other. Oh, we could do some fabric belly bands too. Out of my... Um, my little strips. Ooh, let's do that too. And I have some fabric flips over there that we could do also. Okay, let me grab those. Okay, on the fabric flips, I now have those in my shop. And these were kind of these were kind of the leftovers that I didn't I made them in pairs of a full page and a and like a smaller page one and so these were kind of the leftovers. Here's a butterfly one that would be neat in this one. Um let's see what else we have. These are pretty bright for these particular journals, I think. Okay, so don't really think to go with that. Purple, no. That's kind of too modern. I'm thinking about maybe this one in this journal. Which one is this? This is the precious moments. I was thinking it went kind of with the cover, but I'm not sure about the blue is what's is what's hanging me up here. You know, I don't think that looks bad there. I think that's the one that's what we're gonna use that. So. And that one. Okay, so, and then we've got one for here. So, we have this journal, which, maybe we just do some smaller ones in here. 
Oh, this is the poppies, and they're so red. I also have this little sack of some that I've made, too. Let's see if any of these... Ooh. Either one of those, I think. I think this one, because it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, I can put that kind of to the edge. I think we'll do that one and that one. And then... This one, what could we do in this one? Kind of like this one in there. Yep, let's do that. Okay, so we got we have fabric flips now. These are just little collages that maybe could be used too. We'll see. Kind of, I'll kind of keep those out for the moment. These can go back. Let's see, I'll just stick them, stick those with what goes back, these with the others. Okay, I better check my time. Oh my gosh, our hour's almost up. Okay, I don't remember which one that one's supposed to go into. Is that, that's the one for this one, isn't it? Yeah, that we were deciding where to put. So maybe we'll just find a spot for the flip. Which that can go over lined paper, you know, because it can still be written under. I don't really want to cover that up. There's there's so many pretty papers in here. I don't don't want to cover them up. So I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna I think I might have to although I could go right there yeah I could do that for the flip so let's just quick like pop that on there I haven't used my fabric tack as of late and so it's a little probably a little gooey oh not bad Okay, we're just going to pop that on there. I'm excited because I think I need to make some more flips. I hope they sell in my um, Etsy because I love making them while I'm watching TV. <laughs> and so if they sell, that gives me an incentive to make more. You know what? I think I could put this on this page because... There's just a little pattern right there, but if I did it as a tuck, I think that would work. And then we'll decorate this too in another video. Okay, let's get that in. And then we'll we'll thumb through and see where we got to. And I'll try and catch up the other books before we get together again. And then we can kind of go on to the next step. Does that sound okay? Um yeah, let's just put this right there. Okay. So now we have our Tiffany and Company. Love that. Got a doily in there. Got a sack in there. And we'll decide if we want to want to foo-foo those up a little bit. Okay. Then we have our little altered playing card tuck spot. I'm going to sneeze. I'm sorry. Any minute now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've got our little hanky pocket there. little fabric pocket. Oh, I love that print. And our little pocket that we made with the vintage envelope. Got our flip. Got our other little leftover scrap of paper um, pocket. Our book page pocket. There's the doily again. And we've got our crafty Irina pocket. 
and that's it. And the other thing I need to do, maybe I'll, we'll start next time with that, is I want to gesso over this. This is like too bright for me. It's like, whoa, it's really bright. So, okay, and then we will just, um, just continue on. So thanks everybody so much for watching and we will just get together and do some more next time. So um, have great day until then and then we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.